All right, so welcome back to some more Satisfactory. I know it has been a very long time since I've played Satisfactory. I don't really have any sort of a good excuse, but as you saw in the intro, I am in a different world because my last world save doesn't seem to want to load whenever I try to load it. It just sits there on the Satisfactory loading screen until the game crashes. So we're going to start a new save. And uh, as you seen in the beginning, I already set up the basic system that I'm going to need to be getting resources and whatnot. So your, your basic resources pretty much is all set up over there. Right now, I am beginning to work on a iron factory. So we got the iron nodes all over here. We've got two impure nodes here and three normal nodes here that we're going to draw from and throw into this building here to produce iron. First, we got to set up the actual factory area. I don't know how much I want to produce. I didn't really super plan much of this. We also have this copper node that's kind of in the way of where I'm building. And I don't know if I'm going to need it or whatever. So for now, I think we'll just build over top of it and cover it up and pretend like it doesn't exist. And get rid of these stupid plants coming through the floor. And like that, it's like it never existed. Yeah, you like the factory building? Yeah. Anyway, I'm not, as I said, I'm not sure how I'm going to lay out this factory, but... Did you move, Bean? Thank you. I don't want to blow you up. I want to build... I left a space here because I think in the future we'll probably have a rail line coming through here. So a train line coming through here to collect resources. So because this will be the primary iron building for this area or for my world, it's also a good way to bring the resources in along the wall or something like that. So I want to make sure I leave space for that. And then obviously it's going to have to come into a platform in here where then the train can come on and then have a station down here for maybe future purposes. We'll just fill this whole can canyon base up with uh, floors and we could just use this for like a lot of the factory stuff. So let's say, for example, we had the track coming in and it was coming in from like right here. Be a little section like that, that it comes up here and curves into the factory roughly and then it will need to come in and then I don't have enough materials or any of the materials to build a train station, but we would have a train station right here or like some big long train station across this section and then the track will just continue going down this direction to more factories or what have you that leaves all of this space over here for machines to produce materials and that leaves this whole top story up here to produce materials and what have you so i need to figure out how much i'm going to want to make we have three normal nodes and two impure nodes so we're not going to be able to produce the most amount of iron per minute so we got like 360 iron per minute coming from these three on mark two miners and then it's probably an even smaller number over here these guys will produce 60 per minute not overclocked if it was to overclock them they would produce a lot more they produce probably 120 per minute which is the same as the basic normal nodes we do have some more iron over here, an impure and impure nodes. And then I think that this is all iron over here, probably all impure nodes. Yeah, a lot of iron nodes around here. They're just not great iron nodes, which is fine. They don't need to be fantastic iron nodes. It'd just be better if they were. So we'll probably end up using all of these nodes around here. I don't know how much I'm going to need to make here, but I think I want to make the factory big enough where I have way, way more space than I actually need on here. So that if I ever need to increase the amount of iron I'm producing here, then I can. I don't know if this is big enough because if we were producing iron resources, they don't take much to make iron stuff. So like one constructor is that big in comparison to the rest of this. We can make iron plates here. We could probably do like 20 of 30 of those in this area easily without taking up much space. They take 30 iron ingots per minute. And then obviously we do need to have a smelting system in this factory somewhere where we're smelting it. It's 30 iron per 30. So it's one to one. With the 480 iron we're taking out of all of these five nodes here. We can build 16 of these guys to work with all of those. So we only need 16 smelters. And I want to keep the smelting in one area for the smelting of iron ingots in one section of the factory and then move the construction of plates to one section. So there's a plate section, there's a uh, screw section, there's a uh, ba -da -ba -da -ba -ba rod section. So everything's separated and it makes my life easier for um, power control. So I don't want to build any factories down here for now because this is where we're going to build the train stations and I don't know how much space I'm going to need for the size of the train station. So we're going to leave that blank. 
I left this hole here. I don't know if I'll keep the hole here, but I've left it here for easy access and usage of the bottom section. Just don't have enough concrete ever. So let's say we put the furnaces in this section right here. So we'll start with one smelter up against the wall here. Not there, because there's gonna be a window right there. The window will probably continue here. So enough space for an output system. So it's very squishy, but it's the perfect amount of space for one. We need 16 of you, and that's 16, just like so. If we begin, I guess a mark three would be fine. We just have to have two, two belt lines running side by side, but I might just go for mark four. We started with our merger here, and then we get our mark four belt, and now I'm out of industrial beams. But that's just the general thing of how that will work. So all of these line up in one belt, then that belt can go and produce um, something. I think I will take those, throw them into iron plates, and then the iron plates can be sent out to make something like reinforced iron plates. And now we have the inputs set up, and that's the power lines hooked up, recipes given. We can do 16 constructors, and that is... No, it's not. Scratch that. That's the whole iron plate system set up, so that's all of those guys will fuel all of these guys. We just need to bring the line of iron over that way like that hooked up and then the output no idea where the output's gonna go because it's currently just a full service output now we need to figure out well we don't need to figure out we just need to move all of the we need to move all of this in here so we just gotta finish doing the thing i was doing setting up nice belt lines all the way across here while we're moving wild natural life from the planet out of my way more important things coming through those don't move. Okay, good to know. A little bit of a building progress update. I started to do a little design work in increasing the height of the factory and making it bigger. It's more of just a uh, facade right now. It's kind of like party in the front and or business in the front and party in the back, if that's how the saying goes. Miners and the power. So we got the belt line that just runs neatly onto a bridge that goes over where the railway will go in here. up, And then it's all nicely connected to what it needs to be connected to. I'm kind of taking some design elements from last last playthrough and i'm putting this big building because i quite like the look of these big glass structures that i had on buildings such as the nuclear plant the nuclear plant had this which was like a control room for the factory so i think this will be the control room for this factory or that's my plan to be the control room for the factory <laughs> there's not much going on inside obviously as i explained earlier when we were setting this up i don't have super amounts of iron like technically speaking around here because there's you know there's lots of iron nodes but they're like impure impure and like normal nodes there's no like pure nodes and i'm only using mark ii miners because it's all i can afford to do at this point in time and i can barely afford to do them i can't make this really big this will have to be expanded more in the future but i can future proof it by making sure that there's lots of space on the inside of the factory for more constructors and smelters and factory related buildings okay so another little progress update here i finished the building uh this is probably the size of the building will be i have not finished the building i lied there's still a gap up here so there's lots of space in here as you can see i have only got one system going and it's for making plates um i've hooked up the power to a main power switch here and then i have a priority switch here for later when we get more systems going so that we can prioritize if we run out of power, prioritize specific important systems and whatever, you know, you get, you get what I mean. I've hooked up using these new power towers that they added. These things look sick and it looks really cool just going off into the distance and then towards where the power plant is for my world currently. And there's this guy. So if we turn this bad boy on, we only end up drawing like 396 megawatts total while this factory is working, which is perfect because I'm not making too much. I'm just double checking everything's on i see that we do have iron running through here so that's a good sign and it comes up here and just gets all merged into one belt and into bean's mouth apparently next thing we need to do is we need to go over to these iron nodes over here and hook them up into the factory and hook them up to a different system than the one we have going right now so we'll probably hook them up to we still need to do the uh, poles, the rods, the iron rods, and the screws as well. So I will... Are you doing what in the world are you doing, Bean? I will go do that. 
You are a strange creature. And I'm done with the iron rods. It's all set up, it's connected up, it's good to go as you can see with all the green lights and stuff and what have you. Uh, when I brought the belt in over here, I just brought it in a bridge, lifted it up right here so that the train track can go underneath nicely without having like really close to dropping your head off clearance headroom. I merged all of these belts together into two 450 belts. So they're almost 480, but they're not quite. All of these are going to be fully overclocked. I haven't quite put them all fully overclocked yet, but they will be all fully overclocked. So they produce as much as physically possible, which is, I think, 150 per minute. Those two belt lines go into the two smelting systems that I've added over here for both of them. And that's all connected up and good to go. And we've got one of the belts. And as you can see, one of them goes into the iron rods. We have to do another one of these iron rod systems to make the screws because screws take iron rods. So we need, I'm going to overclock, I'm going to overclock the screw production system a little bit so that it evens out perfectly to a 15 per minute so that it fits with the 15 iron rods per minute. So it's a one to one on either of these machines instead of it being a one to two or something along those lines. I think it was, would have been a, they did 10 per minute. So for every, uh, Two of these, you could do three of these machines or something like that. So yeah, two to three ratio instead of instead of being two to three, it's it's one to one. And we have the screws set up. Uh, the screws produce a lot. I'm gonna have a lot more screws than I need. I think it's 1,800 screws per minute being made from all 30 machines. Uh, so I needed like I need three belt lines to move the screws out of here. I think maybe it's not 1,800 quite. I don't know. Yeah, it's 1800 so i need twice as many belts as i have <laughs> you can only have four belt four of these per 480 belt so if i want this to work fully in the future i will need to come through and upgrade it for the mark 5 belts but i i don't have aluminum so we can't upgrade them so for now it won't be as efficient as it sh it can be so we're just going to leave it at that and we're also going to leave the video at that because this is all I have plans for for the Iron Factory for now. This is all I actually can do with the Iron Factory for now because if I want to expand it more and add more, I need to know where I'm going to need it. The stuff that I've set up now is good for just basic resources for me for now. The next thing we're probably going to do is we're going to set up a system for making uh, reinforced plates. So the reinforced iron plates or whatever they're called. And we'll probably do that up over here. Uh, because the plate you need plates for it and maybe we'll do modular frames in here or we'll do modular frames in its own separate factory outside from this factory so we can put like another factory right here maybe or another building right here for making modular frames because that's something that takes iron i don't think it would be a good idea to send the modular frame factory really really far like on the other side of the map from here because you're going to need majority of the iron items to make modular frames anyway whatever um anyway ramble rambling done uh, i hope you enjoyed this video if you did do hit the like button down below make sure you subscribe if you're new uh let me know what you thought of the video was it boring was it terrible was it horrible awful disaster or maybe did you enjoy it i did a lot of talking not much happened so i would understand if you didn't like it and i'd understand if it was very boring and this is me rambling on more so uh goodbye